Hey guys, welcome back. So today we are going to be doing a haul video slash try on of some new products from Boohoo. If you guys don't know what Boohoo is, it's an online retailer. I think they actually have a physical location in London. However, they have the cutest clothes. They have new products every single day, which is crazy because like that's insane to update your website every single day. So they have some new stuff for festival season coming out. So I partnered with them to try on some new clothes, see how they look for the festival season. Because as you know, Coachella is fast approaching. I, for one, don't get to go to Coachella because my daughter's birthday is the same time, which sucks. Doesn't suck that she's having a birthday, but it sucks that it's always during Coachella. Sad times, sad times. So excuse the way that I kind of demonstrate the clothing because I'm not exactly a uh, pro at modeling clothes. Uh, yeah, kind of awkward. So. so as with all my videos that are sponsored, I only do videos with brands that I truly believe in the product. So this shirt is actually from Boohoo. I have purchased so many things from Boohoo in the past. I have some bathing suits. This bathing suit I actually purchased um, a few months ago and I wore it to Malta. It's so cute. It's like my number one bathing suit. So freaking flattering if you have a mom body and a pooch. I only buy high-waisted bathing suits. So two things that I made sure to get were bathing suits because I love their bathing suits. So the first one is this knotted bandeau bathing suit. It's nude, so I can't wait for all the old people that see me on the beach saying that I look naked just as they comment on my ripped shorts. And then these are the high-waisted briefs. We call them briefs, bikini bottoms. So, so cute. I'm not going to try these on because mm, I may be comfortable in my own skin, but not that comfortable. And then the next suit that I got is this one here, which is gorgeous. It has a very light padding, so it keeps your boobies in place and makes them look cute, especially when you have skin tag boobs from breastfeeding. So this is the top. It's just your basic kind of sports bra cut, which I love because there's no like hooks at the back or anything. It's such a smooth line, so you can wear it under a t-shirt and stuff and it doesn't look kind of bunchy. And then the bottoms, again, high-waisted, so cute. I love that it's brown. Like, when do you see a brown bathing suit? You don't. So it's so cute and original and different from what everyone else is going to be wearing. Unless everyone shops at Boohoo, then it won't be that different. So not trying these on for you guys. Fuck that shit. So next we have this mini skirt. So cute. I accidentally got it in petite. I didn't realize it was petite, so it's a little short on me. If you are petite, then it will f probably fit really nicely on your figure. I love that it's acid wash. It is so thick. Like, it's such a quality piece of denim. You know how when you buy affordable denim, it's like flimsy and smells weird and just feels cheap? But this is like legit like Levi's quality. I feel. And it's got a bit of a stretch to it. It's that destroyed look. It's so cute. I can't wait to wear this. It would look so cute with a band tee. So you will see quite a trend in this video of pants. I feel like pants can really up your game when it comes to fashion where you can just wear like a plain white tee or a plain tank with it and it just makes you look so put together instead of always wearing like jeans and a blouse. You know, like it can really make you look so fashion forward. So the first pair that I have here are these high-waisted beach trousers. So they are cinched at the back with the elastic. They're high-waisted, they're wide leg, they're so cute. They're a little big for me around the waist. I have a funny figure where I'm like an eight and then a six and a four, like I get smaller. I'm a pear shape, if you will. And so these are a little too big around the waist, but perfect around the hips. And I think that's better than getting something that's too small because you don't want it to be too tight where it kind of like gets them off the top or if it's a little bit too big then it kind of looks like you're skinnier because there's like a little gap and it's like oh her waist is so tiny she can't find anything that fits you know what I mean so I love these pants I can't wait to wear them in Mexico for my bestie's wedding in a few weeks so the next pair I got are these coated denim leather look Pants. These are also high-waisted. I have so many faux leather high-waisted pants, but all of them hit 
just under my belly button and I want my belly button to be covered because the area for my belly button and under is my problem area. I have a pooch and so if it doesn't cover my belly button, I won't wear them. So I have so many pairs and they never cover them because my belly button is high. Like it's weirdly high on my body. So these ones come, as you can see, perfectly above my belly button. They are so stretchy, so they're so comfortable. They're not like that stiff faux leather where you can't even move or bend over and when you go pee, you can't pull your pants back up like Ross on Friends. The only thing is because of my pooch that I keep mentioning over and over and over again is the button kind of rides up where I wish there was a clasp where it would keep the front of the pants normal. So, but that's an easy fix. Like my mom is a sewer seamstress lady, so she can easily add that on for me. Well, she's not a seamstress, but she's a little, the lady can sew. So next are these adorable paper bag, again, faux leather high-waisted trousers. These are so cute. They aren't the coated denim leather feel. They're like legit faux leather. You can see, I don't know if it's going to zoom in, but you can see the kind of detail on the leather, pleather, how it kind of looks like real leather and it doesn't smell. You know how when you buy affordable faux leather and it smells like a factory and chemicals? These don't smell. The only thing with these is that they're a little tight in the crotchular region, but if you just keep them pulled down a bit and make sure you're not pulling them up too high on your waist and you won't have that problem. I live for the paper bag style. So these are so cute. I've never seen a faux leather style in stores. So this is exciting to have. So next, these pants, I was so excited. I was excited for this package to come just for these pants. And they met expectations. I didn't realize that they were gonna be so stretchy. They look like they are like that stiff suit material, but they're not, they're so stretchy and soft. And these are wide leg and they have the pleat at the front, which was sewn in. You know when you have buy pants, I keep saying you know when, you know when, but when you buy pants that have the pleats and it's just a crease, it's not the sewn in pleat, and then you wash them and then the pleat is gone and you have to iron them and put starch in it and no one knows how to do that. Where these ones have it sewn in so you know it's not gonna go anywhere, which is amazing. And it fits so perfect. This is a six where I'm between a six and an eight and these fit phenomenally. They're not too big, they're not too small. And they are the perfect length where they cover your shoes. Sometimes when you buy these wide leg trousers, they're too short. And if they're too short, they look so bad. Even if it's just a little too short where it exposes maybe that much of the bottom of your shoe, it looks so tacky and bad and you look like a weirdo where you want it to just hit the ground. So obviously it's going to depend on your leg length. But for me, they fit so beautifully and they just hover above the ground, like just. And the mint green shade is going to look so fashion forward. Like, I don't think I'll see anyone else wearing mint green pants in person where these are going to look so elegant yet so trendy at the same time. I'm so excited to wear them. Oh, so next, what do we have? Another high-waisted wide leg trouser. So these are kind of like, I don't know, what do you call it? Polyester? Let's see if it says. Mm, it just says tall slinky. Slinky is a good word for it. So these are the tall pants. So meaning if you're, I think, above 5'7", where I'm 5'7", 5'6", 5'7". So I'm not quite tall, but these fit me perfect the same way that the mint green trousers did, where they just hover perfectly above the ground. So if you're around my height, then I feel like the, all these trousers would fit you so well. So these are very slinky. If I can demonstrate on camera, I don't know if you can really see because they're black. But they are like kind of like a dance fabric material, material, you know what I'm trying to say? But they're so comfy. I got these because I wanted a cute pant to wear in the morning when I go to Mexico that will look super cute and put together but will be so comfortable so I can be super hungover and roll out of bed and go to the breakfast buffet and still look cute. So next we have these high-waisted leggings. These are high-waisted, but they're not wide leg. They are regular leggings. So I feel so punk rock in these. I feel like I'm going to wear them with my Balenciaga style um, flat boots. 
Chelsea boots, I guess you could say, which are really chunky. So these will look so punk rock, yet very on trend. And I love the mustard shade because it's very Cher Horowitz, you know? So next we have this gorgeous blazer. This is so cute. This is from the tall line as well. I wanted to get it in tall because I wanted it to be like Miley Cyrus a few years ago at the Billboard, I think it was Billboard Awards, where she wore a man's suit jacket as a dress, where this is long enough for me to wear it as a dress to like a super cute event, like a makeup launch or something like that, where you kind of want to look dressed up and trendy for Instagram, for the gram. And this will do the trick. And also, just wearing it as a blazer, it is so Balmain. Like, if you love the look of the structured Balmain blazers, but you don't want to spend, like, $2,000 on a blazer, which who would want to spend that, then this could definitely do the trick. With the double breast and the shoulder pads, it is so Balmain, I'm dying. I've been looking for a jacket that is affordable like this for so long. And if you really wanted to go the Balmain route, you could always replace the black buttons with something gold and really have it look Balmain. I'm fine with the black buttons because it goes with more stuff, but I'm so excited about that jacket. So next we have this teddy bear hoodie. It's so freaking cozy. Oh my gosh. It is still snowing here in Vancouver, which is so weird because we never ever get snow. So this came the day before it started snowing again, so I'm so happy I've been wearing it nonstop because it legit feels like a teddy bear. Like, feels like you're wearing a blanket on you. It's so cozy. And it would be really cute, I think, with a pair of like cut off denim shorts in the summer and spring, like sitting around a bonfire where you know you don't you want to be cute and summery, but you don't want to be cold and you want to be cozy. So I think this would be really cute. I just don't know how I'm gonna keep this color clean because it's like a creamy white color and I have children. So lastly, I got these shoes and I just realized when I held them in my hands that, oh my God, they are exactly like the shoes that I had for prom. Like, exactly. Not prom, like the winter formal kind of thing. So the ones that I had were clear here and it was all clear but these ones are black this is why you don't marry condo your things because they come back in style like i need to go dig up a picture of them because it's just too funny i loved those shoes too so these ones are have the pointed sole and then they are black and then this part's black so trendy and i think these are only like 18 dollars. i could be wrong i'm going to list the prices in the description below but who wants to spend a ton of money on shoes that are trendy for the minute? Or I doubt these are going to be really trendy for a long time. So you can buy the on-trend products without breaking the bank. It's so affordable. And they always have coupon codes and sales and stuff going on. So they have these in nude as well. These ones are in black. But you can get the ones where this is completely clear and then this is nude. So it looks like you're wearing like no shoes. So that is it for the try-on haul. I hope you enjoyed it. I cannot say enough about Boohoo. I almost said Yoohoo. I'm going to put all the magic links in the description so you can shop these products and shop the other products that they have on the website. They have thousands of things. Like you could spend all day on there from handbags, to accessories, clothes, the whole shabam. And yes, I know that my hair is two different colors right now. I have too much toner in the top and then not enough in my extensions. So... It happens to the best of us. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you want to. Don't if you don't. And go check out Boohoo. And I'll see you next time. Bye.